Ball lightning by six and lure. The spark of curiosity. Chen sat in the dimly lit room, the only light coming from the flickering screen of his old computer. The walls were plastered with newspaper clippings and scientific papers about ball lightning, a chaotic collage of his obsession. He leaned back in his chair, rubbing his eyes wearily, and glanced at the photo of his parents on the desk. It had been years since the incident, but the memory was as vivid as ever. Chen, are you still working on that lightning project? His roommate, Lei Wai, asked, peeking into the room. Yeah, Chen replied, his voice a mix of exhaustion and determination. I can't let it go, Li Wei. Not after... What happened? Li Wai nodded, understanding his friend's pain. You know, Professor Zhang Bin at the university is said to be an expert on atmospheric phenomena. Maybe he could help? Chen's eyes lit up. That's a great idea. I'll talk to him tomorrow. The next day, Chen found himself outside Professor Zhang Bin's office, his heart pounding with a mixture of nerves and excitement. He knocked tentatively. Come in, a voice called from inside. Chen entered and saw the professor, a man with a gentle face and eyes that seemed to carry the weight of the world. Professor Jiang, I'm Chen. I'm studying ball lightning, and I was hoping... You're the young man who lost his parents to ball lightning, aren't you? Zhang been interrupted, his voice soft but firm. Chen nodded. Surprised that the professor knew of him. I've read your work. It's unconventional, Zhang Bin continued. But I see the same spark in your eyes that I had many years ago. I'll help you, Chen. But remember, this path is not easy, and it may not lead where you expect. Chen felt a surge of gratitude. Thank you, professor. I'll do whatever it takes. As they began to work together, Chen learned of another researcher, Lin Yun, who was also studying ball lightning, but with a different goal, to harness its power for military defense. Lin Yun is brilliant, Zhang Bin said one day. Her mind works in ways most of us can't even begin to understand. You should meet her. And so, Chen found himself in Lin Yun's lab, a place buzzing with energy and the hum of machinery. Chen, right? I've heard about you, Lin Yun said, shaking his hand. You want to understand ball lightning. I want to use it. We're not so different, you and I. Their conversations were filled with theories and equations, but also with a shared dream of turning their curiosity into something tangible. They spoke of high-temperature plasma vortices and microwave solitons of chemical reactions and silicon nanoparticle oxidization. As they delved deeper into their research, Chen couldn't help but feel a bond forming, not just with Lin Yun, but with the very phenomenon they were studying. It was as if the ball lightning was a living, breathing entity full of secrets waiting to be unlocked. And through it all, Chen remembered his father's words, the ones that had set him on this path. People sometimes become fascinated with something without knowing it, and are unable to get rid of it their entire life. Chen knew he was one of those people, and he wouldn't have it any other way. The spark of curiosity had been ignited, and there was no turning back. The Lightning's Legacy Lin Yun stood in the bustling research lab of the new concept Weapons Development Center. Surrounded by whiteboards filled with equations and diagrams of ball lightning. The hum of high-tech equipment filled the air. Chen, look at this. Lin Yun exclaimed, holding up a sheaf of papers. By adjusting the magnetic field parameters here, we could potentially extend the stability of the ball lightning, leveraging the field's containment properties to counteract the plasma's natural tendency to dissipate. Chen walked over and studied the papers. The energy requirements are astronomical, he replied. We need a breakthrough, not another dead end. 
Professor Zhang Bin entered the lab, his arrival prompting silence. I may have something, he announced. A theory I never completed connected to the work of Zhang Min, a brilliant researcher whose untimely death left many questions unanswered, including the potential applications of her findings in ball lightning research. The room fell silent as Zhang Bin recounted his and Zhang Min's work, revealing a hidden piece of the puzzle. Lin Yun listened intently, considering the possibilities. Could this be the key to harnessing ball lightning? Lin Yun asked. It's possible, Zhang Bin admitted, but it's not without risks, such as the potential for uncontrolled energy release or containment failure, which could lead to catastrophic results. Chen and Lin Yun exchanged a look, acknowledging the dangers, but also the potential to revolutionize air defense. We'll take that chance, Chen declared, for science, for defense, and for the legacy we carry. Together they embarked on the next phase of their journey, guided by the legacy of curiosity, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The lab buzzed with renewed energy, and the promise of discovery loomed on the horizon, as elusive and captivating as the ball lightning they sought to tame. The Ethical Storm In the heart of a bustling research facility, Dr. Chen and Lin Yun stood before a massive array of computers and equipment, the air thick with anticipation. The room hummed with the power of countless processors, working in unison, their screens aglow with complex equations and simulations of ball lightning. Are you sure about this, Lin? Dr. Chen asked, his voice tinged with concern as he glanced at the young researcher, whose eyes were fixed on the data streaming before her. Lin Yun turned to him, her expression resolute. This is what we've been working towards, isn't it? To harness the power of ball lightning for air defense. Lin Yun sighed, her gaze drifting to a photograph pinned to the wall. It was of her mother, a brave soldier who had perished in the line of duty. I know the risks, he said softly, but think of the lives we could save if we succeed. Dr. Chen nodded slowly understanding her drive. We're developing a weapon, Lin. A weapon that could end conflicts with minimal casualties. Just then, the door swung open and in walked General Lin, accompanied by Colonel Xu Wenchen. How goes the experiment? General Lin inquired, his eyes scanning the room. We're close, General, Lin Yun replied confidently. We're finalizing the application of our theoretical work on the Lightning Matrix a framework that could stabilize ball lightning. Colonel Xu raised an eyebrow, his gaze lingering on the screens. And the precautions? Dr. Chen stepped forward. We're taking every precaution to ensure its safe application. General Lin nodded. Good, proceed with caution. The room fell silent as they turned back to the computers, their fingers dancing over the keyboards as they input the final commands. The hum of the machines grew louder, and a brilliant light began to form at the center of the room. A glowing orb of ball, lightning, stable and controlled. For a moment they allowed themselves to marvel at the sight, the culmination of their dreams. But as the light flickered, casting shadows across their faces, they knew that the real challenge was just beginning. And only time would tell if they could weather it. The Lightning Matrix Dr. Chen and Lin Yun stood before the complex array of equipment, anticipation hanging in the air. As they initiated the sequence, the room was filled with a growing hum. Despite the previous setbacks, their focus was unwavering. The sphere, a nexus of their hopes, began to resonate with the energy they had harnessed. Suddenly, the calm was broken by unexpected turbulence. Chen's hand hovered over the emergency controls, ready to act. Lin Yun, ever the optimist, kept her eyes locked on the readings, searching for a sign of stability. In the aftermath, the two scientists were left with a puzzle. The sphere, now dormant, held the secrets to their questions. 
With determination etched on their faces, they prepared to delve back into their work, undeterred by the obstacles ahead. Their quest to unlock the mysteries of Ball Lightning continued, each experiment bringing them closer to the answers they sought. The chapter captures their unwavering commitment to science and the pursuit of the unknown. The Thunderball Gun In the bustling underground lab, the air was thick with anticipation. Dr. Chen and Lin Yun stood before a large metallic contraption that looked more like a science fiction fantasy than a piece of military hardware. It was the Thunderball Gun, their latest invention, and today was its first field test. Are you sure this is going to work? Chen asked. His voice tinged with a mix of excitement and anxiety. We've checked everything thrice, Chen. The principles are sound and the simulations were successful. It's time to see it in action, Lin Yun replied with confidence. The gun itself was a marvel to behold. Mounted on a sturdy truck, it had a sleek barrel that housed the magnetic field accelerator rail. And at its base, a superconducting battery hummed quietly, powering the entire apparatus. The excitation electrode which would generate the ball lightning was positioned at the front. A small crowd of military officials and scientists had gathered, keeping a safe distance. Among them was Major General Lee, who couldn't hide his skepticism. I've seen many weapons in my time, he murmured to Lieutenant General Wang. But this... This is something else. Lieutenant General Wang, an older man with a keen eye, simply smiled. Sometimes, the most powerful weapons are those we can't see coming. At Lin Yun's command, Sergeant Zhao, a marksman of unparalleled skill, took his position at the gun's manual controls. His hands were steady as he aimed at the derelict tank set up as their target. Ready, Zhao announced, his voice steady over the comm system. On my mark, Lin Yun said, her eyes fixed on the tank. Three, two, one, mark. Zhao pulled the trigger and with a sound like thunder, a glowing orb of light shot out from the barrel, streaking across the field with a tail of sparks. It hit the tank, and the tank's metallic body began to glow from the inside, and with a silent, intense burst of light, all of its internal components melted into slag. The crowd erupted into cheers and applause. Lin Yun turned to the crowd, her voice carrying over the noise. Today, we've taken a step into the future of warfare. This weapon can save lives, but only if we use it wisely. For Chen, Lin Yun, and their team, it was just the beginning. The Quantum Echoes Dr. Chen and Lin Yun stood before the equipment, the anticipation palpable. Lin Yun, confident, watched the sphere intently. We've seen the reaction. Control is the next step. The machinery came to life with a growing hum. It's working. Lin Yun announced as the sphere emitted a steady glow. Chen, though impressed by the display, voiced his concern about harnessing the energy safely. Lin Yun acknowledged the gravity of their task. The sphere released a controlled pulse of energy, demonstrating its potential. It's like we've captured a piece of the storm itself, Chen remarked. Lin Yun agreed, emphasizing the dual nature of their discovery. Its potential for both destruction and protection. They stood together, contemplating the weight of their breakthrough and the decisions that lay ahead. The success of their experiment marked a historic moment, yet it was tempered by the responsibility they now faced. The future echoed with the possibilities of their creation. The Aeolus Dilemma The control room was abuzz with tension, screens flickering with data as Dr. Chen and Colonel Xu stood side by side, watching the simulation of the Aeolus system in action. The air was thick with the weight of decisions that could alter the course of the war. Are we really doing this, Chen? Colonel Xu's voice was low, almost a whisper against the hum of computers. It's not what I designed it for, but Aeolus could turn the tide, Chen replied, his voice tinged with a mix of hope and dread. 
Just then, Lin Yun burst into the room, her uniform crisp, her expression determined. The Juffin group is under attack, and Aeolus is our best shot at saving them. Ning Yi followed close behind, his brow furrowed in thought. But the ethical implications... Colonel Xu turned to face them, his decision clear. Prepare Aeolus for deployment. Target the enemy's cruisers and destroyers. Disable their electronics, but ensure minimal collateral damage. Chen nodded solemnly, his fingers dancing across the keyboard. Initiating sequence. Targeting parameters set for minimal civilian impact. Lin Yun watched the system whir to life, a mixture of fear and fascination in her eyes. This is it, she murmured. The power of the storm at our fingertips. We'll make it right, Lin. After the war, we'll find a way to use Eolus for peace. Ding Yi assured her as they watched the system's response. The anticipation of the outcome was palpable in the room. The Quantum Soldier The lab was silent except for the soft hum of machinery. Lin Yun stood before the complex array of equipment, her eyes reflecting the faint blue glow of the ball lightning stabilized in the center of the room. Beside her, Professor Ding Yi adjusted the dials, his hands steady despite the gravity of their task. Are you sure about this, Lin? Ding Yi asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Lin Yun nodded, her resolve clear. This is the only way to end the war to prevent any more loss like Jiang's. Ding Yi sighed. The Quantum Soldier Project is theoretical at best, Lin. The risks. I know the risks, Lin interrupted, her tone firm. But I also know the potential. We can't let fear hold us back from progress, from peace. With a final nod from Ding Yi, Lin Yun stepped into the quantum chamber, the door sealing shut with a hiss. The machinery whirred to life and the ball lightning began to pulse with increased intensity. Initiating quantum state transition, Ding Yi announced through the intercom. The world around Lin Yun blurred as she entered the quantum state, a being of pure energy and potential. Now, Lin, Ding Yi's voice echoed, Focus! Lin Yun concentrated, her thoughts honing in on the target. She willed herself into existence aboard the enemy vessel. There was a moment of perfect clarity where Lin Yun stood on the carrier, the surprised faces of the enemy soldiers staring back at her. Then she was pulled back into the chamber, the experiment ending in a flash of light. Dingy rushed to the chamber, throwing open the door. Did it work? Lin asked, her voice hopeful. We? We did it, Lin. Dingy, I replied, his eyes wide with a mixture of emotions. You appeared on the carrier, if only for a second. Lin Yun placed a hand on his arm. It's a start, Professor. A step towards a future where we're not defined by our weapons, but by our courage to seek peace. As they left the lab, Lin Yun knew that their journey was far from over. The path of the Quantum Soldier was fraught with danger and uncertainty, but it was a path she was willing to take for the sake of a world without war. Her spirit remained unbroken, a soldier not of battle, but of hope. The Legacy of Hope In the quiet aftermath of the war, the research facility lay dormant. Ding Yi wandered through the lab, his eyes lingering on the equipment and notes that Lin Yun had left behind. He paused by her desk, where a single sheet of paper lay, the last piece of her work on the Quantum Soldier project. Lin Yun, you were always one step ahead, Ding Yi murmured, tracing the equations with his finger. The door creaked open and General Lin stepped in. Ding Yi, I see you found her notes, General Lin said. Yes, General. It's her theory on quantum states. She believed it could change everything. They discussed Lin Yun's theory and the potential it held. It was a conversation about hope. The hope that Lin Yun's work could lead to a better world. Ding Yi, carrying the weight of Lin Yun's memory, would ensure that her legacy would continue to inspire. Her journey had ended, but her dreams and sacrifices would live on. 
motivating others to dream of what could be.